Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking the Books with Heather. On this episode we are going to be making uh, from the Deep Run Roots cookbook by Vivian Howard bowl of beans with rutabaga relish and cornbread. Um, we're gonna have three recipes for this particular recipe because the cornbread is gonna be separate, the relish is gonna be separate, hopefully you've seen those already, and then this is, brings it all together. Um, the beans she's talking about in this are actually peanuts. So we've got raw shelled peanuts ready for this and she's basically treating peanuts like beans which they are legumes we just don't generally cook them that way um and making them sort of a a bowl of not really soup but kind of kind of like a bowl of pintos so oh, okay um i have some olive oil already heating on in my on my stove and we have some country ham that we're going to brown now I'm pretty sure she wanted this to be like a just a piece of country ham but I picked up country ham trimmings um, and this is going to be loud but anyway uh, because I figured it was gonna just go into the the bowl of beans and fall apart and be fine. I just noticed that in the end she wants to take it out. So we might not get all of ours out. But we're just gonna brown this um, as well as we can. I probably should have pulled this apart a little bit better. Uh, but we're gonna get this a little bit brown and then take it out. And that's the first step. Uh, we have olive oil in a pan big enough to hold all of the ingredients. So. Okay, so this is, I've moved it around a little bit too much in the beginning just to kind of get it separated. You wouldn't have that problem if you used a big piece of, um, of country ham. But I'm going to take it out now and just reserve it because it's coming back in. But it just got a little bit of brown on it, a little bit of flavor into the oil and we'll go into the dish. And now... I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit, and I'm going to uh, sweat the onions. So we're just going for translucent and starting to cook. So softer and translucent. About eight minutes, she says. We'll see. Okay, it's been about... Um, let me do the math, seven minutes-ish, so about eight minutes. And these are starting to get translucent, smell like onions, so I'm gonna go ahead and add everything else. We add back in the country ham pieces. We have here in this bowl, we have some sliced garlic, some thyme picked, um, leaves picked off the stem. We have some chili flakes, and we have a bay leaf, and this all goes in. And now, we put in our peanuts. So this, um, this is about, it was a two pound bag of peanuts with the shells, so that yielded the right amount for this recipe. You can buy these uh, raw peanuts already without the shells, and I would suggest doing that, but we made the kids help and we shelled them ourselves um, because we happened to buy them with the shells. So we're gonna put these in. And now we put in water. So I've gotta get another, I'm gonna put this in and gotta get one more of these, which I think will fit. All right, so we've got all of our ingredients in, in here. It's not gonna boil real hard, so this should be okay. Excuse me, even though it is kinda full here. Um, we're going to put a lid on this and keep it covered and cook it for two hours. Um, you'll notice that we didn't add any salt yet. Just like with uh, regular beans, they won't soften up as well if you put salt in at the beginning. So we'll put salt in 
uh, when they're pretty much done. There is a little salt in the country ham. Country ham is very salty, but uh, we're just not gonna add any more salt until the end when they're already um, cooked. So uh, the only thing you have to do is to make sure that you keep them covered with water so with the lid on they probably will be okay but check them every so often just to make sure that you don't need to add more water but and if you need to add more water do and we'll be back in a couple hours to see how these turn out all right our peanuts have been cooking for about two hours now and uh i'm gonna go ahead and take out the bay leaf and the big pieces that i can find of the country ham. I don't really care if some of the pieces stay in there. They'll be fine to eat. It's just, I don't want to, I don't really want to blend them. Um, and to get a good stewy texture, uh, what we're going to do is take some of the beans out of the pot and blend them. Now, she says to use a blender, but blending hot things in a blender makes me nervous. I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to use my immersion blender in um, this heat proof uh, measuring cup. She says to take about two cups out. Uh, there's a little bit of meat in there. Like I said, I don't really want to blend the meat. That won't work so well. So we're gonna get about two cups of beans plus some of the broth. And blend it until it is smooth. Now, this will be a little loud. Oh, I'm also supposed to add in my salt at this point and the rest of the time because that was so we put half in in the beginning and put the other half in now gonna blend it up it's pretty smooth and now we put all this back in and then we uh, check for the consistency that we want. You kind of want it to be stewy, not too loose, but not too thick. If it's too thick at this point, you can always add more water. If it's too um, thin, she says you can uh, blend up more beans. I think it seems pretty thin to me. I didn't lose like any, I felt like I didn't lose any liquid while it was boiling, so uh, I am gonna, I don't think I want to blend up any more beans, but I am gonna let it boil for a little while with the lid off, so. Uh, and we'll, we'll try it out. I think it's, I mean, it's a little, yeah, it's a little thin, so. Um, I'm just gonna let it, let it, turn it up a little bit and let it boil with the lid off to thicken up a little bit. That's my solution here. All right. But that's pretty much it. Um, it is done at this point or when it's ready to your specifications, how you like it. So we'll let you know how it turned out. On this episode of Cooking the Books with Heather, we made bowl of beans with rutabaga relish and cornbread from Vivian Howard's Deep Run Roots cookbook. This involved two previous recipes that you should have seen before this. I usually am good at least about making sure those come before um, other recipes. So uh, this is where she decides to treat peanuts like legumes and cook them um, like beans. Just make them like beans. Um, it was relatively easy. The beans themselves, let's say, relatively easy, but altogether the three recipes kind of took some time. Um, 
If you can find the raw peanuts pre-shelled, that would be easier than what we did because we had the kids shell them. Well, we had the kids help us shell them. Um, and it was, I mean, it was, it was good. It tasted like a bowl of beans and the rutabaga relish really did um, enhance the flavor. It was a nice crunchy addition to it. Um, it was something that we could certainly see having with other things like that, um, field peas or um, black eyed peas or anything like that would, would be good with the rutabaga relish. And the, the peanuts were just like a bean. So if you have access to raw shelled peanuts, might be a little more difficult outside the South. I know um, we grow a lot of peanuts around here, so they're probably more available. Um, but if you have access to it, certainly it's a good way to use those up and, and have something a little bit different. Um, it, she, she told, said to use a blender for this. That's really the only kind of special equipment that you needed. I used my immersion blender. I think I showed you how I did that. Um, I just prefer using the immersion blender when it's something um, hot. Think it's easier than the big stand blender um but yeah we enjoyed it um we shared it with my mother-in-law she tried a little bit since she was over when we made it um she enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoy it if you decide to try it if you did like this episode please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to watch me cook something else next week